Today on the Chat and Chew yeah, Show. Especially with women, specifically yeah. with women. Yeah. Because I'm afraid to just say thank you and walk away with that comment because yeah. I feel like I'll look arrogant. Or, right, you know, right. Oh, yeah. Like I'm feeling too into myself or yeah. whatever. I don't know. I do that too. But I, maybe <laughs> we do it for different reasons. <laughs> But I'm so excited. I got this for six dollars from Walmart. You know, <laughs> you like I'm genuinely happy like that, that Walmart was selling it for six dollars. Right, happy. right. Hey everybody, it's your girl Roxanne, and today we're making a smoothie bowl. All right. Well, hello everybody, and welcome to the Chat and Chew Show. Hi, welcome. We are excited that you guys are with us. I'm Betty, and I'm Roxanne. And Chat and Chew Show was designed to empower you to do relationships better. And this is what we know for sure, that everybody is in some type of relationship. This is true. And you could be married, single, you can be a daughter, you could be an auntie, you could mm -hmm. be a grandmother, that all of us have relationships. But this is one thing I discovered about ladies in particular, that we often compare ourselves to other women. All the time. So why do we do that? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Cause I do it and I catch myself doing it and I'm just like, really? I, I, yeah, it's not till after okay. that, I'm, that I'm like, oh, why are you doing this? Like, <laughs> especially to even people that we're not even in the same lane and, yeah. or anything. It's just yeah. like, oh, I want that kind of hair or yeah. I wish I had that, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. oh girl, your skin tone is so okay. nice yeah, yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, there's always a reason. I never really, maybe I'm just too naive or so too into my own world, but I never really look around and compare myself. I'm just excited about someone being in a land. You, you looking at me like, really? You don't compare yourself, really? I'm just trying to understand how <laughs> I, I get there. No, but this is what I was going to say. <laughs> this is what I was going to say. Tell me how so, to get there, Betty. <laughs> I, I don't know if I'm there. And when you hear this, you're going to feel like, OK. So we, Roxanne and I just start, decided to do Chat and Chew. You know, we started out originally with we're going to do a podcast, which means audio. And then we moved to like, oh, most people want to watch it. So now we mm -hmm. do the Chat and Chew show. And uh, doing something like this is really big. You know, you just, mm -hmm. we're putting ourselves out there every single week, yeah. you know, creating content, hopefully, that people enjoy. So I'm going on Instagram. <laughs> and oh, I'm on Instagram. <laughs> and I'm looking at other podcasters who are doing what we're doing, not exactly mm -hmm. how we're doing it. Mm -hmm. So you may have seen our post. We have like a hundred followers right now and I'm super excited. <laughs> Actually a hundred and one. And I'm excited. One person don't leave. Don't I know, forget. don't leave. You gotta keep it at <laughs> yeah, But here's say. the goofy thing. There's another person who I know kind of uh, off. I don't really know her well and she's doing a podcast. <laughs> and she posted, thank you to my 20,000 followers. <laughs> And I was like doing everything within me not to go look and scan and listen to her podcast. And I was like, what? why are we even doing this? We got like 100 followers and they got 20,000. And uh, we compare ourselves all, all the, the time. Oh my gosh, I would have never time. thought that I was that type of person See? that I would look into. And even now I'm really, I'm struggling with this idea Stay in your lane, do what you're supposed to do, but the temptation to look over here and to see it what is. they're doing, it's just crazy. Uh, so anyway. <laughs> and it's a distraction. It throws it you completely is. off. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So mm -hmm. hang on, you guys, and that's what we're going to talk about today. There is no win in comparison. Nope. crazy all right well welcome back you guys and thank welcome. you so much for joining us here on the chat and chew show my name is betty and i'm roxanne hey betty hey can i ask a question say it again can i ask a question sure what's so what's this right here okay this um, i know i <laughs> So it was here. I just wanted to. I know. To... I wanted to be hospitable today because oh. Roxy is so classy whenever we shoot in her uh, neighborhood. So we're in my neighborhood today. Wait. So I have <laughs> some bean chips. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Now, you guys know I didn't make this. So 
and they're in you packages. You didn't make this in packages? <laughs> and prepackage it. I don't, I didn't, <laughs> I I didn't don't know. It. <laughs> I know. Then I tried to be all fancy. It's like, okay, hummus. Yes, yummy. <laughs> but this one looks good. Why don't you open it? Open okay. it. So that one so is. So this is not hummus, though? No, that's spinach and artichoke spinach. with oh. Greek yogurt. Tzatziki. I know. Sa what is it? Tzatziki. Tzatziki. Okay. I never heard Ta of it. Yeah. So I think. You know what? I, I think in good. the restaurants, people just go, give me the white sauce. Okay. But this is artichoke and spinach. I don't know. Okay. So I don't know if this is the same. But it's made with yogurt, though, instead. So that should be pretty good. That should be really good. Yeah. Let's I don't see. know. We'll see. Yeah. And I don't. I tasted good. these bean chips. I didn't prefer them. I think the black beans one once may be a little bit better, but yeah. See, y'all were talking about my black beans. <laughs> I know, I know. Like we them. were like, we want to eat them. Let's yeah, cool. Goes. So when uh, on the other before when we huh, now we're back, <laughs> and uh, so we're talking today about there is no win in comparison, and oftentimes I don't know about guys, but women do this all the time. It's very true. We look at other women and we look at other people who are doing things that are kind of similar to what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And then we look at ours and we think, oh my, why am I even doing it? So I think this is a huge problem if we spend our energy looking at what someone else is doing. I think one of the ways that it becomes a problem for you because you feel like what you're offering to the world is not good enough. Yeah. So when I went online and started looking up this other podcast, I'm calling Roxanne, it's like, we suck. <laughs> <laughs> She's stop like, now. Let's just stop, let's now. stop now. At number 12, let's just stop. When that person has like 300. Exactly. Let's stop. Let's stop. But it, it makes you feel like what you are offering is not good enough for the world. Yeah. You know, and it's mm -hmm. like, you can't look at someone's highlight reel or how, it, they've been doing it for five, six years. And exactly. you were like, you doing want to hop up and do yeah. it overnight. Yeah. yeah. I saw uh, Sarah Jakes Roberts posted this uh, thing that I thought it was brilliant. Like she has a clothing line mm -hmm. and she posted one sale like for the day. She mm. only had one sale. And then she went on to write about there's other designers and everything out there doing a clothing line. But I have to focus on what I'm offering to the world, you even do. though I have one sale, you know, they're selling, yeah. you know, millions of pieces or whatever. So that was that was huge because, again, she could have looked at what the other marketers are doing and thinking like, they only sold one today. <laughs> right. And you have to consider that you can't see everything that everyone is doing. That's true. So you only see their success. Yeah. And then you judge yourself off yeah. of that. Yeah. And it's funny, I was watching an interview with Denzel. Washington and he was like, you know, people go, well, how do you become a success? And he's like, it's not overnight. I'm a 20 year overnight success. Yeah. Yeah. Cause yeah. it's like, I've been working, working, working. Yeah. And you yeah. see when I achieve something yeah. and you go, let me go do that. And yeah. you try to copy yeah, yeah. that one movie yeah. you're in or that one. Yeah. And, yeah. And it's like, no, I've been working all this yeah. time yeah. to prepare for that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and like, like we're jokingly saying, you know, well, let's quit now because I'm looking at all that, but you cannot compare what someone has been doing for five, six years to yeah. your 10 minutes. Right. You know, <laughs> 10 minutes. 10 minutes. 10 right. minutes. So that, it could be a big problem. I think another one, uh, well, like we just said, it makes you want to stop altogether. Yeah. And some people do, you know, some people, they just stop. They see how beautiful someone is or how thin they are or how their hair looks, you know, that kind of thing. And they're like, well, shoot, I might, <laughs> I might as well eat the whole pie of it. If I can't. I'm nowhere near. I'm nowhere stopping near now. Right, right. Now you know the problem with that is like it's just like if you're driving, so we saying stay in your lane. Yeah. And so how can you drive a car and look over in the other know, lane? You can't. It's not possible. Yeah, it isn't. It isn't. So because I'm driving like this, looking at you. Like if, <laughs> you guys watch movies, and right? And they're like, they're, you can tell they're not on a road for real. Right, right, right. Because they're like, yes. How you feeling about that? <laughs> I know. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah. And they're just talking and looking to the person. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, you're everyone looking at the road. Like, yeah. you guys are clearly. Yeah. In front yeah. of a green screen yeah you cannot do what you're doing looking at, at what other, other people lane, yeah. are doing right there is no win It'll you guys you dead in your chest. yeah yeah I, I think another one is uh, uh I, I don't know if you know this term green with envy yes like people you see someone automatically you get jealous of them yeah. but i think the way oftentimes depending upon the lady's personality when someone is jealous they're like oh <laughs> where'd you get your hair done <laughs> 
<laughs> has that happened to you, Betty? Not that, because, again, maybe it has, and I'm so naive. I'm not, like, all, like, focusing in on it. Honestly, Roxanne, I, you could wear whatever the heck you want to wear. I don't even care. I don't know. Maybe I'm just too old now. I don't even care. <laughs> But like um, we had, we have some good friends of ours, good mm -hmm. friends of ours who are like, oh, so you got <laughs> it starts so, with oh, it does. So, oh, oh, so you got two couches. So if you get that, <laughs> oh, y'all, you know, you coming. know, it's some hate, it's, coming it's some, hate some hate, right? And so you got two couches, is that what? Oh, so you got two couches. Ooh. Oh, so you guys went on a cruise again? Oh, you know that kind of thing. How dare you? I know, like <laughs> oh, you know that kind of thing. Yeah, but. That, oh. that that I'm telling you that being eat, eaten up with envy does not help you in the no, long run. No, no, no. In the long run, it so. doesn't. It doesn't bring anything towards you. It does Because again, we were talking about in previous episodes about gratitude. Yeah. And just how much if you focus on what you have and have yeah. actual appreciation for yeah. that, yeah. it almost like welcomes more into yeah. your life. Yeah. Yeah. Versus if you're always looking like, yeah. oh, she has that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. that? Yeah. <laughs> you know, oh, you just made me think, too, about, you know, like, ladies who want to be with someone, and then they see someone who they think is not attractive, like, oh, how does she get a man? <laughs> how does she get a man? How does that? I know I look bad. That's who that. you pick. <laughs> <laughs> is that who you decide to go <laughs> Right. Yes. You know, that does not help you at all. It's just, you know, uh, so it's just crazy, crazy. So, again, it there doesn't. is no win in comparison. So we're going to take a short break. Uh, and then when we come back from the break, we're going to have some solutions that you can do if you are a type of person who is always comparing yourself. Mm -hmm. And stop saying, oh. Mm -hmm. Now, a delicious word. Let's choose. Hey everybody, it's your girl Roxanne, and today we're making a smoothie bowl. Now what I like about smoothie bowls is that it feels like I'm eating ice cream, but I also feel like I'm being healthy about it. And also you can have them in the morning, and you can have it at night as a sweet treat. It's all up to you. And so we're going to get started today by getting our ingredients together as usual. And I'm using one frozen banana, about three-fourths of a cup of almond milk, I'm using a handful of uh, spinach. You can use any kind of greens you want. And then I'm also using a hearty tablespoon of peanut butter because I love peanut butter. So we're gonna actually start by mixing together the almond milk and the spinach because we want that spinach to get cut up pretty fine. And so we're throwing those into the blender first and we're gonna blend those until that's pretty smooth and it's gonna be more liquidy, right? And then we're gonna add our other ingredients that are a little thicker, our peanut butter, and we're gonna add our banana. And that'll thicken up that, um, thicken up that mixture and see if, if you know, see if it's, it's thick enough for you. If not, you can always add ice to it and get more of that ice cream kind of feel. Because you do kind of want it thick because you're gonna pour it into a bowl and you're gonna eat it with a spoon and all that, right? So once you have all that mixed up, we're gonna put it into our bowl and we now can add our toppings. And I'm adding a pumpkin and flaxseed uh, granola, and then I'm also adding chia seeds, because uh, they're a little more filling. And then I'm gonna add some strawberries. And you can add other fruits if you'd like, because this is a light tasting um, smoothie. It's not, there's not really any strong flavors in here. Um, you can actually add, be a little liberal with your fruit. Um, I'm just adding strawberries because I love strawberries, but you can add some blueberries if you want, you know, if you like the raspberry kind of flavor or anything you want. And um, also, if you find that it's a little tart, then you can, you can add some honey as well and just sprinkle a little over the top and it goes a long way. All right, so give it a try. Let me know what you think. Let me know if it feels like you're eating ice cream or not. All right, until next time. Oh, you got two couches? Oh. Dang. I mean, she can get a fucking couch, can she not? I know, but you know, that's how people, I don't know, it's just weird. Mm -hmm. People are like, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I think it's a story that you tell yourself. You tell yourself uh, that if someone else has it, then you can't have it either. Can I tell you a dysfunction that comes from that, though? As a person on the other end, I yeah. find myself explaining more things that I sh don't have to for the sake of defeating that, oh, 
Like, I also someone say, oh, that's a cute shirt. And I'm like, yeah, girl, Old Navy, you was $5.99. <laughs> Oh, I see. And it's like, uh, it's almost like to deflate that deflate, whole, uh, like, comparison competition yeah, thing. Yeah, okay, okay. And it's like, That's true. I can't just say thank you. Yeah. And it's not, yeah. I'm not doing it consciously. Yeah, But yeah. I noticed that's a habit that I've had. Yeah. Is to always deflate any compliment. That's true. Because I'm just yeah. scared, especially with women, specifically yeah. with women. Yeah. Because I'm afraid to just say thank you and walk away with that yeah. comment because I feel like I'll look arrogant or, right, you know. Right, right. Oh, yeah. Like I'm feeling too into myself or yeah. whatever. Yeah. I don't know. I do that too, but... <laughs> I, maybe we do it for different reasons, but I'm so excited. I got this for $6 from Walmart, you know. <laughs> You're like, I'm genuinely happy just like that, that Walmart was selling it for $6. And I found right, it. right. Yeah, that's crazy. So we started the conversation without you guys. We did. Uh, but, uh, yeah, welcome back. This is good, baby. I know. Okay. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. Good. You know, I saw someone on Food Network put together artichoke and spinach dip. Mm -hmm. So when I saw that, it was like, you know, it looks really good. Mm -hmm. So I'll good. try some in a second. I'm going to have to get some crackers, though. I don't know if I can do the bean chips with the with the artichoke. Mm -hmm. But it's good together, you said. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, so here is what you can do if you live life comparing yourself to other people. First mm -hmm. of all, let me just say this. That God created you with your special gifts and talents and your craziness. Yeah. <laughs> Let's know the craziness. <laughs> That's crazy. Because we all have some craziness. We do. And we are honest about it. Mm -hmm. And that is okay. Yep. It's okay for you to be you. It's okay for you to be who God created you to be. It's okay for you to have your quirkiness. You do not have to be like someone else. The world would be so plain and bland if we all lived and thought the same way. It's so true. But we, we all have different, like, like you know, when you see... Um, flowers that are different colors and put together mm. they're beautiful yeah. you know that's i believe that how god especially with us ladies how he wants us to be and it's okay for you to champion other women in <laughs> i know one of my kids <laughs> it's and okay. that's okay and that's okay <laughs> <laughs> right i bet the other podcaster don't have <laughs> No, you're the other part your space. I know. See, yeah. this is all okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I would say one of the things that you could do is to stop comparing. This it's easy to say this. Mm -hmm. Just to stop comparing yourself to other people when you start telling yourself that story about, oh, look at them. Mm -hmm. You know, I wish my was I wish my husband was like this. I wish my hair was like this. I wish my house was like this. Mm. Just catch yourself in that story and look at what you do have and just say thank you for my whatever. Yeah. Wash machine, my whatever you have, right? I yeah. think that's one of the things. Uh, th I think there's another th thing that we can do is to know that there is more than enough in the world. Yeah, that's a big one. If I compliment you, that doesn't decrease what I have mm -hmm. in my life. You know what yeah. I mean? The scarcity mentality that. Yeah. It's that thing that you like. And it's funny because I have a, um, someone was just telling me, a supervisor, he was just like, you know, he's always just telling like things that he, that encourages us and everything. Mm -hmm. And he was like, one of the things is with the world is that God has already put enough resources for yeah. us to accomplish whatever we need to accomplish. Yeah, yeah. He has already thought of it, created yeah, it, it's yeah. already here. And we just have to um, access it yeah, yeah. and tap into that. And yeah. so if we think of it that way of like, when God created you, as a human being with yeah. a purpose, yeah. he didn't bring you here without the resources to yeah. get you to where you need to be yeah. Yeah. in terms of fulfilling his purpose. Yeah. So yeah. it's always there. Yeah. But yeah. It, the thing is, it's hard to tap into if you're trying to be somebody else. Right. And that's right. what makes comparison dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're trying to tap into their resources yeah. Yeah. and not your own right. that right. help you to flourish yeah. and be the best person you can be. Yeah. Yeah. And again, I think we when we look around, we think what we have to offer is not good enough. Because yeah. I'm looking at, yeah. I'm looking at your 10, 15 years, or even maybe not even. Mm -hmm. Maybe you've been doing it the same time I have, and, right? And you're further and along. Let's say you are, yeah. Yeah, it's you're fine. further along, and I'm still like, you know, trying to find my way. That is okay for it's all of us to go at our yeah. own pace and mm -hmm. not feel like, well, if I 
speak well of you or think well of you, yeah. that's going to decrease what I have. Exactly. And, and that kind of thing. This whole scarcity men mentality. And I heard Tony Robbins say one time, it's not always about what you achieve, but it's, always, it's about who you become. Mm. And so if you're focused on yourself and building yourself and growing, yeah, yeah. like at the end of the day, you'll become a better person. Yeah. And like maybe your, 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 your achievement is getting over fear or yeah. getting over, you know, yeah, yeah. like this the idea that you can't do this yeah. thing. Like yeah. maybe you're not thinking big enough Yeah. and that's it. And yeah. it's not, <laughs> it's not yeah. even that you're looking at a person, they're different from you. Yeah. It's just, you're not thinking big enough. Yeah. But if you're focused on your own and getting over your own fears and your own things yeah. that hold you back, yeah. then who knows what you could accomplish. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think that's huge. So again, uh, there is no win in comparison. No win. <laughs> <laughs> and I just want to encourage you, you guys who are listening, is just to be and do what it is that you were called to do. Just yeah. stay in your lane and do your thing. And then you'll see on the other end that how God grew you or how you grew, uh, how you matured, mm -hmm. uh, how you can offer your sister something uh, else. The person that you're looking at, green with envy. I think if you can learn how to like let that go yeah. and just really see that there are some great qualities in them that I don't have to hate on them because they yeah. look, I think they look better or right. they're doing better. Honestly, you don't know what people are going you through. You don't. And I, and the thing is, I think if pers perspective is a big deal. So like, instead of looking at life as a race yeah. and where we're all on a line trying yeah. to get to the finish line and yeah. against each other, I look at it as a puzzle mm. to where we're fitting together. Mm, and good. so I need your shape yeah, to fit good. with my shape yeah, so yeah. we create this beautiful picture. Yeah, yeah. So you can't change shape. Yeah. You know, otherwise yeah. we can't make this picture together. That's right. Yeah. And so you need to stay in your lane. I yeah. need to stay in mine. Yes. So when we come together, we yeah. complement each other. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Wow. That is huge. Cool, cool. Well, that concludes our show today. Uh, that was really, really Yay. good. Man, I'm just telling you, I, I, even going through the notes on this, it really has helped me just to think, do what you've been doing. I think we're at episode, when we're air, uh, shooting this, probably episode 12 or something. I don't know when this one will come out, but uh, I, we just keep plowing along. Yeah, yeah. All right, And see cool. who we become. And see who we become. All right, <laughs> Are cool. you going to try the... I, I, you want it, you want crackers. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try it on the next episode. <laughs> but it was good? It was good. Okay, I know how this tastes. So I'll try that next time. So we'll see you All guys right. next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>